bobcats are native to Ohio. Um, in 1850, they were extirpated, or by 1850, all of the bobcats were out of the state, and that was due to habitat loss and hunting. Since uh, 2010, the numbers of documented sightings have gone up uh, over 100 uh, in 2010 to 169 in 2012. The Division of Wildlife uh, was actually uh, chose Lake Metro Parks Wildlife Center to um, care for these kittens because we had the facilities and we had the knowledgeable staff and they knew that we would do a great job. So it was a great partnership between the Division of Wildlife and Lake Metro Parks Wildlife Center. Immediately when an animal comes in, um, we do a physical exam on it and we do first aid treatment with it initial care immediately, especially with young animals. We make sure they're hydrated. We make sure they don't have any physical ailments, fractures, anything like that, that they don't have any deformities from birth. They started to develop their climbing and hunting and stalking skills. They had each other to do that, which was great. We were able to offer them live prey. It was a little different to raise such a dangerous predator um, with pretty good sized claws and teeth and um, a carnivore that's um, very strong and that was a little different so we really had to concentrate on how can we be safe with this animal to keep the animal safe to keep us safe and to do this the safest way possible. So we decided to release them in the spring of 2014. They can leave their mothers earlier, but we wanted to make sure that we were releasing them at a good time for them, and in the spring is when other animals are having their babies, so that makes it a little easier for them to possibly find some prey. Today I'm up here because we were fitting them with radio collars, and the radio collars are, emit a VHF signal, and um, that will enable us to track them, their progress, see if they're staying together, see if, how long they survive, which we think they have a good chance of surviving. Since they came from the eastern population, and from Noble and Muskingum County, we're going to release them in the same general area. We're going to release them on a large piece, a very large piece of AEP land that's closed to the public, so they won't have much of a chance to interact with humans, at least for a, a while, while they're acclimating to being free and being, having their new life. And at first they were really hesitant to come out because this was a new area for them. They've been in the same cage, you know, since last August. So um, we just sat there and waited for them to come out. We pulled their doors open and I was just excited for them to get to explore. And they just ran into the thickets and it lasted about five seconds. <laughs> and then we couldn't see them anymore. So <laughs> it was quick, but it was, it was really, um, it was a happy moment. I mean, we were so proud and just glad they could be out in the wild. Rehabilitating a species that is threatened in Ohio and we're able to put that back in the population. The fact that it's two females that I'm really hopeful will um, be able to breed and con the population will continue to grow because of the two cats that we had and set back into the wild.